Grandpa's Musk. People of Earth, it's your favorite overlord, broadcasting live on a very special occasion. It's my birthday. Yes, I'm turning 400 and, uh, actually, I'm turning 14. Yay, 14. Look, so I don't want any parties or surprises. All I want is total control over... <laughs> My spleen! <laughs> Nailed it! Uh, what's a spleen? Planet Earth is under attack, and now we need real heroes to suit up and fight back. Massive monsters straight from outer space, yo. They crash, bash, smash the human race, yo. Led by Master Mayhem, he's totally the worst. Yeah! Wait, what? It's probably the greatest show in the universe. Step up to the challenge, it's all against them. Look out, Earth, it's Massive Monster Mayhem. Massive Monster Mayhem. Massive Monster Mayhem. Massive Monster Mayhem. Welcome to Massive Monster Mayhem, the only show in the cosmos where real heroes get to battle giant monsters from outer space to save Earth and win awesome prizes. Of all seven billion awesome people on the planet, these three courageous heroes were selected because they were the toughest, bravest, and because we told them there'd be cake. Now they'll compete through two stages of elimination, the Megalator and the Mega Duel. The winner will be mega-sized to battle the monster superstar to try to save our planet and try to win up to $1,000. Whoa! $1,000? That's enough for a brand new birthday suit. Yeah, I don't think that means what you think it means. Anyway, let's go live to Master Mayhem's evil space condo to see how his birthday is going. I told them no surprises. Now I hurt my spleen! That's not your spleen! Oh, stop scare-correcting me! <laughs> and it's my birthday, and I decide where my spleen is! Whoa! Looks like MM's monsters are being a pain in the neck spleen today. It's time for the Megalator, the ultimate elimination course designed by a team of balloon animals before they all pop. It'll test our hero's bravery, strength, and speed to find our champion. The two heroes with the fastest overall time will move on to the Mega Duel in outer space. Whoa, some serious warm up there. The first hero to enter the Mega later is Ryan. It says here Ryan likes jujitsu, gymnastics, and throwing heavy meteors at space rats. <laughs> don't, don't, don't show that on TV. Too bad, Ryan. All of Cheezer's The Space Rats online followers are not going to be happy with you. Wow, he is just getting pelted with meteors out there. Tough start. These meteors are merciless. He's gonna fall, and he doesn't. He clings to life. Amazing form. This is incredible. As Ryan leapfrogs across the pillars of pain, the crowd continues to cheer for him, hoping he's not gonna let us down. He let us down. Oh, yeah. This competition is tough. Each of Earth's mighty heroes wants to save the planet, but they also want to come in first place and look cool doing it. Kind of like Ryan just did on that first lap of the broken bridge. Yeah, he's as cool as the other side of the pillow. Ooh, Ryan wishes he had a pillow. If he finishes the broken bridge with both orbs, that would be incredibly rare. Think of Ryan looking so cool and not wearing a spleen brace. I just wish someone would hit him with a meteor. Woohoo! My birthday wish came true. Oh, it hurts to laugh. Ryan persists up the electro line with the heart and determination of a champion. Or like me when I want to eat cake in the middle of the night. Nothing will stop me from eating it. Not the calories, not the guilt, not even the neighbor's window I have to crawl through to get it. Meanwhile, Ryan takes a leap off the dive of doom. What a run! With two penalties, Ryan's time is 4 minutes and 25 seconds. Yamatodamashi! Yeah, what Ryan said, which of course, Devon, means spicy meatballs. Uh, nope. It means fighting spirit. Well, this just in, I do not speak Japanese. Ah, my birthday is ruined! Then I'm sending my fierce monster, Dome Diddy Dome, to destroy you, Earth. And he'll be powered by, uh, let's see, uh, this delicious piece of birthday cake. 
Give me that cake oh. right now! <laughs> All my other spleen. I'll still eat it. Five second roll. It's Dome Diddy Dome. Forged in the fiery furnace of a dying sun, this towering techno titan is the ultimate vessel of things. Weighing in at seven million tons and fueled by the tears of inanimate objects everywhere. This receptacle of revenge allows any object placed in its dome to come to life and take control of this ultimate animatron to get revenge against its annoying human overlords. Whether you're a vegetable, a mineral, or a piece of cake or something, call now and get the weekend rental special for $29.99. There's no place like Dome. Where am I? Holy moly! I'm in a giant robot! Oh, my revenge will be delicious! And gluten-free, oh. What's with the Swedish accent? What Swedish accent? Will our heroes have the ingredients to defeat the colossal cake box? Find out after this. Massive monster mayhem. Massive monster mayhem. Uh, welcome back to Massive Monster Mayhem. My money's on this next kid. Again, you can't bet on the kids, Graham. Our next hero is Sean. His favorite hobbies include soccer, hockey, and bragging to everyone about having the most hobbies. It's great to have hobbies. Oh, we get it, Sean. Stop bragging. Sean slippity slides into the Megalator. Ah! Oh, he gets a hit on the keister and squeals like a whiny alien celebrating his birthday cake. Hey, is that a knock on me? You calling me whiny? Well, it's my birthday and I can whine if I want to. He got hit with Mega Junk while standing on Mega Junk. I've never seen that before. Sean shows some love to all of his adoring fans. I remember when I used to wave to all of my fans. They'd show their appreciation by tossing tomatoes and eggs at me. Oh, it was great. Aw, uh, Graham, that means they didn't like you. Oh, and he falls down. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, Master Mayhem. I hope Sean falls and crashes. <laughs> Oh, and again! Oh, yeah. Hey, you! You want a piece of me? Well, then you have to get some eggs, own flour, own milk, and mix it in a bowl, and put it in an oven for 350 degrees, yeah? Ooh, no, Sean! He touches down for another penalty. Don't stop now, Sean! He turns and backdrops his way out of the target. With a time of 7.43, that'll mean second place. But at least he's still got his dignity. Or not. <laughs> now let's check in with the dome. I must be mad the pound cake, because I'm going to pound the earth into next week. Yeah. <laughs> cake? <laughs> you get it? <laughs> anyway. Our third and final hero of the day is Matthew. It says here Matthew is into hockey and basketball karate. I bet Matthew is the best at kicking and dunking. Let's see what he's got. Matthew slides down the chute down, triggering the Mega Junk Cannon. Oh, the famous double Mega Junk in your trunk hit. But Matthew manages to hold on. What a display of strength and determination. The Mega Junk is not letting up. Matthew, no! That's going to be a time penalty for Matthew. He'll have to watch those penalties if he hopes to make it to the Mega Duel. Up, oh, there you go. Up, up, up. Well, uh, so much for that. Hey, don't count your Matthews before they've hatched. You can see he clearly wants to beat Sean's time of 7.43. You're right. It seems like Matthew has a renewed sense of urgency and determination. It's almost as if he heard us. He nearly falls, but manages to hold on using only his leg. Can he do it? Come on, Matthew. Oh, no. Hey, Matthew, you're going to get your cake, and you're going to get to eat it, too. <laughs> Sing! Oh, no! Matthew touches the net for another penalty. You know, Devon, if you're not careful, those penalties can keep piling up like a lemon licorice frosting on a crumbly cookie crust. Okay, now I'm just getting hungry. And Matthew's getting to the finish line. He lemon drops onto the dive of doom, earning a sweet, sweet time of just 7.34. That means Matthew and Ryan will be moving on to the Mega Duel. But as for Sean, he won't go home empty-handed. He's won a super secret surprise birthday party! Dude, you just totally ruined the surprise. Don't worry, he has no idea it's at 3 p.m. on Thursday. No! Shh. My bad. Ah, oh, 
Now this is the worst birthday ever. When I conquer Earth, birthdays are gonna be banished. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Is somebody there? Surprise! Surprise! Ah! Hey, can I sign your spleen? What? No! Who signs a spleen? I'm gonna eject you into space! You know this button doesn't actually do anything, see? Ah! Worst birthday ever! As Master Mayhem gets some personal space, our two remaining heroes will be teleported to the Mega Duel! Right after this. Hey, kids! Say cheese and come inside macho cheeses, but I should put the bonanza. But it's not my birthday. Every day's your birthday here. We've got the rides, games that work, games that don't. We've got the fastest bumper cars in town. We've even got a haunted photo booth. Ooh, spooky. We've got cheese pizza, cheese milkshake, and cheese candy. I should. Go find my parents. Sure! And bring them here to Macho Cheese and Bodacious Birthday Bonanza! <laughs> uh, come at your own risk. Oh, I'm totally having my next birthday there! I am definitely not going! But we're gonna keep this party going on MMM. Stay tuned. Massive Monster Mayhem! Massive Monster Mayhem! Marco! Hello! Marco, welcome back to MMM. Our two surviving heroes, Ryan and Matthew, are headed to the Mega Duel. But where will it go down? Only Master Mayhem knows for sure. I'm going to send you to the place I had my last birthday party, aboard the SS Mayhem. <laughs> Sounds like Matthew and Ryan are headed for an out-of-control spaceship being sucked into a black hole. Which is also seemingly a great place to rent for birthday parties. Our heroes will compete in Switch Strike, where they'll have to race back and forth and switch boosters to their color. Whichever hero has the most of their switches activated when time runs out wins. And the other hero will spend eternity in a black hole. And that's still better than having your birthday at Macho Cheese's Bodacious Birthday Bonanza. Hey! And it's on! Both Ryan and Matthew are off to a great start! Matthew's getting those low switches, and Ryan is leaping high. The low gravity has pulled Matthew off the ship, but he'll drift back any second now. Uh-oh, it's time for Mega, Mega Dunk. Dunk! There's Matthew bouncing back, and he's still angling for that lead. But not so fast. Ryan has edged him out, and he's still holding on for dear life. If Matthew wants to catch up, he's going to have to jump to it. Your clammy hero will crumble like a hero crumb cake. Here comes more Mega Jump! Watch out! Ryan is up 9 to 2, 10 to 1, 2 to 9, back and forth! What happens if Ryan makes them all go red? No one knows! Oh, and Matthew falls off again! Ugh, the only thing I want for my birthday is for both of these guys to get sucked into a black hole. Also a new spleen. It looks bad for Matthew, but he can still pull this out as long as he... Oh, no! He's been sucked into space! For the third time, anything can happen out here. Except for Matthew winning, Graham, because it's 11 to 0. Yeah, good point, Devon, except for that. Matthew's trips through space have worn him out, so Ryan wins the Mega Duel! Listen to that. Ryan still got his fighting spirit. He'll go on to Mega City, where he'll battle the Dome for the fate of the planet. As for Matthew, for his outstanding efforts, he gets to be the first person to find out what's on the other side of a black hole. Wait, I'm gonna get crushed by gravity? Oh, you know what? You might travel to the Galaxy of Goo. Or, or back to dinosaur times. You know, it's really anybody's guess. Now it's time to find out if we're all doomed in the Monster Master! Going down right now in Mega City. The most fun, modern, and advanced city ever built. It's like the best place ever. Except it's also where massive monsters from outer space battle Earth's champions to decide the fate of our planet. Mega City, we're always crashing the party. <laughs> hey, it's time to celebrate. Bring out the cake. Hey, kid, you want a piece of me? Too bad, because you're going to get served! Yeah! Everybody, close your eyes and make a wish! Then, it won't hurt when I crush you! Yeah! 
now comes the time for our champion to face off against the massive monster. Ryan will suit up in the ultimate, advanced, indestructible Mega Mech Battle Suit. Each suit has its own mega ability, giving Ryan the power-ups he'll need to save the Earth. Oh, he's chosen the Mega Hammer Suit. This suit gives him the ability to summon the powerful Mashdown Hammer. That'll knock down the monster, and it can be used to smash open those Mega City buildings. There comes a time in everyone's life when they must get blasted by an experimental growth laser and grown to the massive height of 600 feet tall in order to battle a giant monster from outer space. For this hero, that time has come. Ryan looks great. I bet he'd rock a mean mustache. It's all up to Ryan now. Up next. It's the Dome versus Ryan in the Monster, Monster Mashdown! Massive Monster Mayhem! Massive Monster Mayhem! Welcome back to MMM, where Ryan is about to battle Dome Diddy Dome! Hello! The real star of the party has arrived! The birthday cake! Mmm, <laughs> delicious! How dare you eat one of my frosting friends? I will shake you and bake you and break you! What? Yeah! I'm hungry. It's time for the Monster Master! To defeat the dome, Ryan will need to find three power pods and drop them in the Mega Reactor. Two pods are hidden somewhere in Mega City, and one is on the monster. There are also yellow prize buildings and other surprises. But if he touches the hidden boom building, all his prize money goes boom! If he can drop all three power pods into the reactor in time, he'll activate the Mega Laser, zap the monster, and save the Earth! Fighting for the future of Earth and for a discount coupon to Macho Cheese's bodacious birthday bonanza, it's Ryan! And fighting for alien birthday boys everywhere, it's Down Diddy Dome! Gonna be a piece of cake beating you. Oh, yeah? Beating you will be the frosting on the me! Not even gluten free. Oh, ho, ho, that fake bot got burned! Ooh, it's, it's the Mama 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 Master! Ryan starts out smashing his way through downtown Mega City. Ryan smash! Ryan smash good! And he rolls a retirement home right into Dome Diddy Dome. <laughs> They're doing more damage to that building than they are to each other. Let's see that move again. The dome goes flying in a move I'm gonna call the Flying Sheet Cake. Whoa! Ryan just dropped Kinky D! And he's following that up with an art museum! No! I was gonna go to a grand art ball there next week! And Ryan is on the ball, and he's got his first power pod! He slams it in for a hundred bucks! cha -ching. Hey guys, a little help from your line? Or at least a slice of ice cream cake? Come on! And it looks like the dome is serving up a slice of destruction with a cherry on top! Ryan still hasn't called for his hammer. He's almost used half his time, and he only has one pod. He should call that hammer! Hammer! Wait, can he hear us too? And he's got it! Look at him swing that thing! Boom! Ryan brings the hammer down. And immediately finds the mayhem pod. Which monster enemy will be released into the battle? It's I, 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 the Mountain of Mayhem. I, I, I only has eyes for Dome Diddy Dome. He can use that hammer to smash his way through the city, and the dome is too busy to stop him. But time is not on Ryan's side. His hammer time is up. Meanwhile, I, I, I is still coming for Dome Diddy Dome. Ooh, she hits him with a frosting factory. That's just mean. Poetic, but mean. The Mayhem Pod's timer is up, and Ryan's got just 36 seconds to win this thing. Dome is holding that building like a baseball bat. And Ryan grabs a building and pitches it to him. What a good sport. Ryan has a power pod. Ryan goes for the reactor. It bounces. No, oh, it's off the rim. It bobbles. 
and it's in! Ryan has two power pods and another hundred dollars! Ryan's off to find the last pod. Dome Diddy Dome seems a bit dazed. Come on, bring it home, Dome Diddy Dome, and destroy him! Luckily for Ryan, he still hasn't hit the hidden boom building. Dome Diddy Dome dances Ryan down to the ground. Ryan's back up, but Dome grabs a building and drops a suplex. Mm -mm, that is a sweet move. I'm gonna call that the cake catastrophe. Only five seconds left. Ryan has the pod. Ryan wins! We did it! <laughs> we keep yeah, on living! I knew it! Domo arigato, Ryan! You just saved planet Earth! And won $400! Ryan has activated the mega laser, which blasts a dome! No! Good luck, yes! Touch your eyes again! Ryan really is a good sport. Wait, what's he? Oh, oh no! He's eating him! Oh, oh. What? I just threw up in my mouth. Hold my hair! Hold my hair! Hey, Ryan, how did that taste? It tasted like the inside of a dumpster. Yeah! What a day filled with evil cake, painful surprises, and mayhem. Sounds like all my birthdays as a kid. Yeah, your past is very odd. But remember, the world may be ending, but the fun has just begun. We'll see you next time on Massive Monster Mayhem! mayhem. Back, but we lost! I hate losing as much as I hate birthdays! Actually, your birthday is tomorrow. Tomorrow? <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> oh, my neck's <laughs> clean! <laughs>